solo destiny and it all began with a moonbeam. These moments could be everything, but I saw the cracks forming before the promising. Calculate the manifestations to failures. Fate is faithless and uncouth. Practicing interaction as experimentation of its own limitations. The existence of man spawns off of necessity, not affection, making the existence of emotion inherently an imperfection. And thus the art becomes sinful, the artist becomes demon, and the devil his imagination. The God complex of a creative and his blasphemous perspective. We call our heroes goats and expect the baphomet to be displeased. Pick your poison and let your spirit bleed. Love lives with pain and evil wheels both with hate as its last hope. So some of us choose to cope with smoke and a lack of sleep, living the irony of a hypocrite's testimony, the artist's creed. Accept thy delusion and spark the flame of your self-made hell. If Shakespeare wrote the Bible, then I wrote Anubis's eulogy and preached it amongst the jinn. Mistakes are self-inflicted scars. So I wonder if anyone was ever made for this. If kisses and thumb rubs were the pinnacle of romance, Music would stitch wounds and repair bones. Cameras would recite the blind and microphones would clarify thoughts. Creativity seems to be a narcissist's attempt at humility, a disingenuous presentation of a troubled trinity, a self-destructive mind, a fragile body and a poisoned soul. I wonder if written words would survive without an oral tradition. I know history is misrepresented in memory, but as my loved ones fought a continuous war in the city, I stood my ground against morality and debated loyalty to money, the victimhood of obligation and the necessity of purpose, the superiority of pages over stages. There's indecency in dismissing the instrument of voice. Respect is a recurring choice. And as lightning writes its name across the heavens and thunder performs its notion, some get triggered and some get scared. Some are bewildered and some are inspired. Some are oblivious and some are biased. Either way, it's fire with fire over bloody waters, a fear to fall to tight ropes over lava. There's pettiness and karma and a relatability to Kemper. I studied killers and solidified my spot with gorillas. I challenge your definition of existence. I challenge your definition of expression. I challenge your definition of pain. I challenge your definition of passion. If rolling in the deep replaced a Rough Riders anthem, would we love the same? Or would we bleed different? I know we all grieve different, but do we feel different? In summary, my question is simple, would you die for a vocation?